Hi Pisces, Tarot Twins here. Welcome to your soulmate reading. This is going to be a reading having a look to see what your soulmate is going to look like. We're going to be using three different decks. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi guys. If you would like a private reading with the both of us, they are limited. Spaces are limited. Our emails are below. They will be listed below, so feel free to reach out and inquire. Um, otherwise, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So we'll take a look and see what kind of features your soulmate might have here, traits or characteristics. So straight away, I'm getting quite um, quite slanted eyes, um, almond-shaped eyes, small eyes, a prominent nose, a very intense stare um, from this person here. Uh, Bodily-wise, I think they may have a bit of a bee belly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Full of figure. Full of figure. <laughs> Dad bod. But for those that don't know what dad bod means, <laughs> no, <laughs> unless you maybe it's an Australian term. So yeah, a bit of a fuller figure here. Um, broad shoulders because notice how the shoulders are coming out, like as part of the wings. I'm I think it's someone who is quite broad on the shoulders, either from swimming or just naturally they're quite wide um, around the shoulder area. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think the same. Quite a quite an intense stare. I feel like um, lower brows. The eyes are quite slanted. Um, yeah, very prominent round nose. face. A chubby face, maybe. Maybe uh, or a, a round yeah, jaw. Like a fuller, or very, uh, you know, some very uh, like chubbier cheeks here. Um, there's something quite. I'm almost getting like intimidating. They've either got an intimidating stare or oh, intimidating yeah. presence. There's just something, either they look mean or they look a certain way here, um, or it's just that energy. The energy comes off as a little bit intimidating, a little bit intense. Like they look like some like someone whom you wouldn't want to mess with or someone whom, you know, it's just coming across as a bit intimidating yeah. in that sense. And they're, they're either wide-legged or they, they do the man spread. Okay, this could be like they do a man spread, um... Something with the way they walk, but they've got thin legs. Notice his, notice the bird's legs are quite thin. Thin legs, yes. So it could be thin legs as well. Let's see what else we can find. With long toes also, quite long toes I'm seeing. Yes, could be that also. Okay, so we've got someone with blonde, fair features, possibly orange hair that's coming in around. Strawberry blonde, orange. Yes, yeah. a heavy makeup. Yep. Okay, a so quite colourful. Colourful eyeshadow. This is a long, thin face. Mm -hmm. So we've got, you know, someone coming here with a round face. Now, this could be that they, they naturally have a long, thin face, but they might have put Ooh, on some weight. weight. And yeah. when they do, they have a round, chubby face, chubby cheeks. Yeah, that's right. Um, but she's got a, le uh, a long, a long, a long face, neck. blue, yep, blue eyes, and quite a fuller figure down here, though. Yeah. You can see. So quite voluptuous. Okay, large chest, large hips. Um, they could plait their hair. They could have very long hair. They could wear headpieces. Okay, scarves, hats, um, hair bonnets, all those types of things. They could accessorize um, and, and put in their hair. But I am seeing long hair. A lot of accessories. I'm also seeing feathers surrounded this person. So I'm yeah. not sure if they've got a tattoo of a feather or... Um, very their eyebrows look like feathers. Yeah, like they do eyebrow feather, feathering yeah, maybe. Yeah, feather their eyebrows. I'm getting, yeah, for some reason um, the feathers is coming through. I feel like this person wears a lot of amulets or is... Jewelry. Very, yeah, jewelry. Or, accessorizing. Uh, yeah, accessorizes a lot or can be quite spiritual like talisman, uh, um, amulets yeah, of some sort. There could be tattoos of wings here as well. Wings, flowers. Angel wings. Angel wings. Right. Uh, Maybe they have an angelic wings. presence to them as well. Yeah, quite. Spiritual yeah, or quite angelic. a spiritual a light aura to them, I think. Okay, again, orange, blonde, strawberry blonde, ginger hair coming through here. Okay, so... Again, I'm seeing slanted eyes. She's got very slanted eyes here. Her eyes are closed. I wonder if this person has vision problems or just very small eyes. She looks very thin, though. I'm getting that this person under, uh, changes weight very rapidly. Their weight fluctuates, fluctuates. a lot. Yes. Okay, from yeah. a fuller size to they dropping a size. A lot. They yeah, do. they could yo-yo diet, all right? It, it, it could be that as well. They could do um, some intermittent fasting as well is what I'm seeing with this person. Long legs. I'm seeing long legs, long, long feet, long toes, yeah, long which toes, you've mentioned. Yeah. 
Um, I feel like this person is uh, into music here, or has quite a musical, um, like a musical energy here, or a musical um, rhythm to their speech kind of thing, or quite an expression here. Mm, something with their posture as well. They could be quite a little bit hunched. A little over, bit hunched over here. Or may not have the best posture. May not have the best posture. She's got short, wispy hair. So. Um, they might have cut their hair. They might have cut their hair or they, or they will cut their hair. Yeah, they might even also wear extensions just to sort of switch it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. Could be because we did see hair length here as mm -hmm. well. Okay, so what do we have Broad here? shoulders. I would mentioned the shoulders and mm -hmm. that's sort of come up again. Quite broad shoulders here, yeah. Very Dark broad. hair. Wide. Dark hair. Short black hair. A wig. Dark eye makeup. Mm -hmm. Could be um, olive or tan skin here. Um, I feel like maybe this person is from, uh, yeah, I feel like. It could be Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern North African. Yeah. Um, uh, Asia here. Um, or perhaps their parents were born overseas here. But I feel like when this person, this person is either of dark skin or I feel like when they're out in the sun. Oh, they like catch they can, color yeah, very quickly. They, yeah, they go olive. Like, um, yeah, they get color quite quickly here. Um, quite studious um, energy here. I'm mm. giving this painter is, th th this person is either a painter or a musician of some sort. I feel like they're very good with their fingers. Writing. Like long, yeah, the long. Maybe that's why they have fingers. a hunch back. They hunch when they write or they're working at a desk maybe. Exactly, um, yeah. Or the, the posture here as well. Notice how, you know, he sort of um, sort of crawled up like that. Pointy nose and pointy chin. A thicker neck is what I'm seeing as well. And th small eyebrows. A lot of necklaces. Or, so, or yeah. like a tattoo around the neck or, mm. or yeah, on the chest. Or, or they wear yeah. high-collared clothing or that high covers their necks. Yep. Turtlenecks. Yep, turtlenecks. Or a lot they of button ties up. Yep. for the men, like business suits here. It could be um, that as well. I feel like they've got one really prominent tattoo, which is very meaningful to this person. And it's something to do with cultural or religious aspect. Mm. Okay, look at this. Okay, mm. again a long face. Yeah, again quite a pointy chin. Someone very tall. I'm picking up someone very tall, um, but not not too slender though. I think it's the weight gain that's throwing me off. I think it's the rapid weight. The, the weight loss or the weight gain. Because they transform their look somehow, and they I think do. it's through their weight. Yeah, but no, definitely. Um, um, quite a cheekbones. High, yeah, very prominent, Bunch. very high cheekbones. High like cheekbones. High European cheekbones here. Small eyebrows. Um, yeah, small eyebrows. Um, they love. I feel like they they love wearing either like really bright lipsticks, shades of lipstick, pink or red here. Um, there may be a natural red head as well, or they mm. may dye their hair here. Getting a red tinge. But yeah, I'm getting shoulder length, either short shoulder length or like very long, extremely yeah. long hair here. Quite a spiritual, um, even like bohemian vibes. Is yeah, boho. Yeah, boho vibes to this person here and their dress sense. Very, um, very, very laid back, very chilled energy here. Um, I mean, she looks like she's wearing a corset. So it could be someone that has to wear something for their back or maybe just likes to wear corsets. Yeah, those waist trainers. Waist well. trainers, they yeah. That. Um, Again, I feel like they do things to shift their figure. They mm, ch change their look. Yeah, that's right. And I'm getting like this person is really into either, like really into crystals. Rune stones, crystals, crystals yeah, nature. Into, like, and that healing yeah. matches up with the boho vibe. It does match with the boho vibes, doesn't it? I feel like this person is also a bit of a night person here. Oh, yeah. They, they like to stay up late at night, or they may have insomnia here, have trouble sleeping, or they're best when they're the most creative uh, during the night time. They've got a wonderful yellow um, aura around them here. They do. Some very, of you will come to see that. Yeah, Fantastic. Very warm, very enthusiastic energy to them. Okay, and what do we have here? Okay, so we have someone much older here, someone more aged. I feel like either this person is older than yourself or this person is an old soul, okay? Okay, so, it could be, yeah. yeah. Someone with a young, youthful energy, but a very wise old soul mm. here. I mean, we do see silver hair, so it could be either very blonde that it almost looks silver. silver they dye yeah, their like hair the, silver, yeah. or maybe they just have some greys. Natural, yeah, yeah. exactly. Some greys are kind They're of embracing the grey. Exactly. Um, okay, hunched over. Again with the, yeah, we, we are getting... As was she. The we are getting a little bit hunched over. I just don't feel like they have the best seating arrangement or the best seating posture here. Yeah, and look, it almost looks like... 
uh, she's leaning over in curiosity. So it makes me think again with her eyesight or their neck. They cr maybe they crane their neck often or try to look very very yeah. intensely. Remember that intense stare that we saw? Yeah, definitely. Um, There's some connection there. Some they have a, there. Yeah, they have a particular way of looking at things or looking towards you or at you and it's very particular it's very precise is what I'm getting that's right and again with the lantern so again I feel like this person is a bit of a night owl or mm. someone who likes to stay up late at night um, yeah or a bit of an insomniac as I mentioned here or just someone who does some of their best thinking during the night time all right guys and that's all we have for you today so we just want to thank you all for watching and listening have a lovely March that's right and we'll catch up with you guys next week bye for now bye